Look at all the Twister DK colors. Ooh, ooh, ah! Hi, it's Krista. <sighs> oh! At the Secret Yarnery. Today we're unboxing ice yarn. Let me turn you down a little bit. Now it came a bit torn, just like this, but all the yarn inside looks to be fine. It has been around the world. So I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna wash my hands, and we're gonna unbox everything. So, scissors. I cannot wait. So I ordered this. February 14th. It took about a month to get here, but not from Ice Yarns, from my freight forwarder. So that's exciting. Okay. Woo wee! Can you see that? Oh my gosh. This is like the best part. Okay, okay. There we go. Oh! my scissors away. Oh, no, I got to get my scissors back. Oh, <gasps> look at all of it. Can you see that? Now you can. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands and I'm coming right back here. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what, okay, I don't know if this is magic. Worsted, I want to say magic worsted. I don't know what anything else is. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Okay, I'm putting you back up. Okay, there we are. Now you need to be a little more. Okay, all right. So, ah! this is the first bag we're gonna be unbagging together. Ah! I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, there's more. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put these bags here. There we go. Right? Then I'm gonna get rid of the box. Oh my goodness, it's packed. You gotta see it. It's packed in there like hard Ugh, to get out. Oh, it's vacuum packed. Look at that. Oh, the best. Oh, yeah, that's another one. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh. Okay, empty box. Out of here. Sorry about my camera work today. Not my best work. I'm going to open this one first and we're gonna look and admire oh they're heavy ain't no joke we're gonna admire these ones oh, first oh my gosh I love it so I will put don't worry about the code on it or whatever I will link each yarn down below like that specific yarn that specific color so don't worry about it, and I will do it chronological, so you can just be like, oh, it was after this color and before that color. You'll be able to find the yarn that you're looking for. <sighs> okay. Getting in on that. Are we ready? Okay. This is just really weird sitting on the ground, I'm telling you. Okay, we gotta go that way. So I gotta go here. I gotta stay here. Okay, fine. So this will work. Look at what is in there. Oh, okay, I'm starting at the top. Oh, I remember. Now this reminds me why I got it. This reminds me of a small throw that my grandmother had from Scotland. It's the exact colors, it's the exact fiber. Well, I can't say it's the exact fiber. Very similar to the exact fiber. Ooh, it is so dreamy. I don't even know what it's called. Do I have glasses? Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? 
pretend I can read. <laughs> okay, hold on. One for you. Can you see that? It feels exactly like it looks. Dreamy. Let's see, if my arms are long enough, I won't need glasses, so let's see. Oh, and it's called Bella Mohair. And yeah, I'm gonna need glasses, so. I really should have a pair. Oh, I do, I have two pair right there. Okay, hold up. Not my most graceful. Okay. <sighs> Nothing like unboxing yarn on the ground. <laughs> I was gonna wait till tomorrow morning. I'm like, I can't. How could you sleep with a box of ice yarn like sealed shut? It's impossible. I was gonna do it until I saw, I just couldn't do it. Okay, so back to one for you, one for me. Look at how gorgeous that is. Okay, and now I can read it. It is called Bella Mohair. It is 15% mohair, 65% acrylic, 15% polyester and 5% polyamide. Now what I've learned, polyamide means nylon, I'm pretty sure, and nylon means soft. Oh, yes, it's so good. I'd like to say I have two packs of this because, oh, and I should tell you how many meters and stuff, right? Okay, you can check. Ooh, look at that, the gray in there. Oh, did you see the gray? I just snatched it right back from you. <laughs> okay, there's the gray in there. This is a size four worsted weight. They suggest a five millimeter knitting needle, so a six millimeter crochet hook. 150 grams is 330 meters. Size four worsted weight. Is this not gonna be something just glorious? Like glory, glory. Okay, I have to put it back. I love you. Very soft, very wearable. This is a hundred. One hundred. Okay. Now I gotta get it in all pretty. As pretty as I, I want it the same as I found it. There we go. There. Oh, I loved it. That is a great way to start. Let me grab a little table on this side. Then we can stack up yarn over there. Oh good, you can see it. <laughs> One never knows. Okay, I have to get in there too. Okay. I could have got this set up before I invited you over, but I was too excited. That's how it is. Okay, so Bella Mohair. Love you, Bella Mohair. This is gonna be eyelash, I wanna say dazzle, eyelash glitz. Glitz, not dazzle. Ooh, okay, hold on. Let's do this one. Eyelash glitz. So glitz usually means lurex for ice yarns. No, I don't know how it is in the rest of the world, but for ice yarns, that's what they call it. Let me just make sure you can hear me because I'd be crying if you couldn't hear me. Oh my gosh, it wasn't recording. Oh my gosh, I wasn't recording. Okay, you can hear me. And I'm recording, so I mean, that's all good. <laughs> okay, so the eyelash glitz. Let's see, got my glasses, got my yarn. Let's get into it. One for you, one for me. I wanna see how thick it is. It feels more ropey. Like if you squeeze it, it feels like you could, less dense, less fluffy than eyelash dazzle. But it still has that sheen to it. Like Elsa. Isn't it? So this is a uh, eyelash glitz, 80% polyester, 20% lurex, 100 grams, 140 meters, six millimeter knitting needle, so a seven millimeter crochet hook, and they say it is a size five weight yarn. That's cool. I love the sparkle, it looks like ice, doesn't it? Like frozen. 
You could make an, um, a, I can't say it. <laughs> Abominable snowman? Snowman? That'd be really cute. Or snowflakes for the, for the, or icicles. You could do like an icicle, what do you call those things? Garland, that'd be so cute. You're all gonna have to remind me of these things for the holidays. Okay, so that's eyelash glitz. There we go. This is also eyelash glitz in like a coffee with milk color. Isn't that great? So pretty. I'll put up all the other colors that that comes in. Ba -ba -ba! So you can see all the options for eyelash glitz. The other one of my grandma's blanket. I love those colors so much. And this one, I am so glad. Oh, so glad I bought it. I was humming and hawing over which colorway to get because realistically, how many things do I do in fancy variegated yarn? Not many. So I was like, these colors are so great. This is from my grandma. So I got my grandma's one. And then I went back and I was like, you know what? Just get it. And I'm so glad I did. You are going to freak out. Now, if you noticed anything, this pack changed. So I, when I checked the sound was working, I didn't press record. So I've unboxed this whole bag. So yeah, I had sound, but I wasn't recording. Anyway, I put it all back together. I have seen this and I know you are gonna freak for it. I know it because it is just so, it's so everything. Look at that. Doesn't that look like surf waves? You know how it gets all like frothy? Yes. Oh, it's so good. So good. So many good colors in there. So, oh, and look at this one. Mm-hmm. I love it. I don't know what I would do with it. There you go, look and see it. Isn't that just like so pretty? So pretty. <sighs> so this is just gorgeous. It's so, pr oh, I could just say that all day long. Isn't that great? So soft, so dreamy, same as the other one, but with these, I guess more oceany coral, little mermaid colors, isn't it? Delicious. So that is, mwah, so glad that I went back and put that one in my cart. 100% stoked. There's also another amazing yarn in there. So it's probably a good thing that I have to film it again and unbox it again with you because I had like a, I took like about 10 minutes <laughs> with a yarn. It's that good. So, oh my gosh. Can you see how beautiful that is? So beautiful. Okay. Now this one was a surprise because I have a full pack of it right there. The exact same color, exact same yarn. I guess I thought I was getting like a brighter shade. This is Chenille Baby. And I use this for my slippers. So I use one strand of chenille with one strand of acrylic. So the chenille gives it the squish and the acrylic gives it the strength and you got a gorgeous pair of slippers that last forever. So this is, I gotta get another ball out. Okay, there we go. This is chenille baby. It is 100% microfiber, 100 grams, 120 meters. It is a size four worsted weight acrylic. No, it's a size four microfiber acrylic. They say uh, you can use a six or seven millimeter knitting needle. So a seven to eight millimeter crochet hook. And it comes in all of those amazing colors. Very, very squishy. Isn't that great? So my go-to for slippers, but now I have two packs of it, so eight balls. That's enough to do something else as well, just saying. So to do slippers, less than a ball per slipper. So I think you almost get a pair of slippers with one ball chenille, one ball acrylic. So two balls of yarn, one of each gives you a pair, approximately. 
So that is Chenille Baby. This I loved. I can't wait to share this one with you. This is 100% cotton. It is dreamy 100% cotton. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even. Oh, let me open up the same pack. So I'm not making extra messes for myself. Gorgeous colorway, super wearable. 100% cotton. I guess I could show you the tidier side of it. Aren't those colors great? Like you could just crochet that into something and like throw it on. It would make such a cute hexy sweater. <gasps> like a little cropped one. Like for spring, just to be like doo -doo -doo, a little over the shoulders, a little cropped, or a little cropped hexy cardi would be so cute. So this is called Cakes Cotton Royale. It is 100% cotton, 100 grams, 210 meters. It is, they ask for us three to four millimeter knitting needles or a size, and it is a size three DK weight yarn. Look how it is. Really nice. Really soft, super wearable, not kitcheny at all. This is not kitcheny. And I'd also like to say, I don't think it would split either because of how it is twisted up. It wouldn't be splitting like natural cotton could, does, could slash does. So that is a win. So three cakes in a pack. Uh, 100 grams each. So these are 300 gram packs of 100% cotton. That's good, right? That's really cool. Now we got Puzzle Baby in the house. See, on a good note, at least I put them together so we can pull them. <laughs> Wait, no, I already cried. I cried. Don't worry about it. Uh, they are really nice. This is Puzzle Baby. This is the same yarn I did the Candy Cradle baby blanket, not really baby blanket, twin size blanket out of. And they do say it is a size two weight yarn, but don't think about that. Think of it as a DK weight yarn. I used a five millimeter crochet hook and it worked up great. Plus you get a ton of yarn. Let me try to see which one I already opened. I don't know. You get a ton of yarn per ball. Like it is, they're huge. Look, it's like pound of love, but it's not like pound of love. <laughs> okay, so Puzzle Baby, look at those colors in there. Isn't that great? It is 100% acrylic, 200 grams, 610 meters. They ask for a three to, five, three to four millimeter knitting needles, so a four to five millimeter crochet hook. I used a five, and they say it is a size two weight yarn. Just focus on using a five milli, and you have 610 meters per ball. That's a ton! So a ton of yarn, and the color change in it is fantastic. Really nice color change. Right? Love it. So good. So that is Puzzle Baby. Ooh. So two packs of that. That is a plenty to make a blanket. Plenty. That's going to pop open, I think. I did not shut that to the best of my ability. But it's all right right now. Now this, I think this was at the top of the pack when it was like opened in the very beginning and we didn't know what yarn that was. Anti-pilling magic. It is so good. So good. Now, let's see. You're gonna love it. Look how pretty that is. You see all those colors in there? Dreamy. Like that is a, that's every color I always try to use to make a wearable. Everything for a wearable, but it's all in one ball already. It has the taupes, it has the grays, it has the light blues, it has the navies. So this is anti-pilling magic. 100% anti-pilling acrylic. 100 grams, 280 meters. 
It is a size 3 DK weight yarn. They ask for a 4 millimeter knitting needle, so a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And yes, it has that sheen to it. Can you see that little bit of shine? So it would work up into a wearable, like dreamily. Or like such a nice throw for the edge of your sofa. So pretty. So that is anti-pilling magic. And those are the colors that you can also get it in. So, so pretty. That's one that I, I could have gotten two packs of. I don't think I did. I think I just got one pack, but that could have been something that I doubled up on. And this is more eyelash glitz. So eyelash glitz in like a baby pink and eyelash glitz in an orchid. And you have to see the orchid because look at what a pretty color that is. Isn't that like the prettiest? Orchid! I want this for the bottom of like a wide, regular, average, bumpy gray scarf. And then this super thick wide border at the end to be like, hmm? just be like, imagine like a figure skater. <laughs> All the glamour, look at the glamour, right? Anyway, love it, that's what I got it for. I love orchid and gray together. I just think it looks like so pretty. So that is more of the eyelash glitz. And that finishes the bag. Yay! Now on to, check I'm recording, check I have sound. Okay, good. Oh, that wasn't. I still have another bag. <laughs> okay, well eventually, they were doing this bag original like I'm gonna film opening it with you so here's the other bag that I put back together okay starting off magic worsted magic worsted is fantastic because do you see the gradual color change in there and all those shades plus it is a worsted weight yarn it's super thick put one there uh, no, let me open this bag. I think this is the one I opened before. So, you can see the color change in there. It is like Scotland spring. Like, just when things start unicing. And there's still, like, the debris from fall, but there's new growth just sprouting through. It's so pretty. So, this was one of the only colorways they had left. So, keep an eye out for Magic Worsted. I have it in blue up there too, I think, from before. So Magic Worsted, it is 100% premium acrylic. It is a size four worsted weight yarn, 100 grams, 185 meters. They ask for a five to six millimeter knitting needle, so a six to seven millimeter crochet hook. And it is, so good. Really nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I do have two packs, so that is enough to do pretty much anything. I just thought it's a nice color to have. I don't have much of the green-yellow combos, so if you have any ideas what you would do with that, let me know. Open to suggestions. Now, if you don't know, if I didn't tell you already, this table is very precarious. It's one of those folded tables, you just kind of lift it and then you just touch them and they collapse again. It's my grandma's, or it was my grandma's, now it's mine. But I think if I put too, put too much weight on the ends, on the sides, they're just gonna totally collapse. So if you see me looking over there and wondering <laughs> why it hasn't collapsed yet, that's why. Now a good thing about me not filming the first time I went through this, ba this bag, I put things together now. So, this is, tell me if you know that, if you know this one. Oop. Do you know the type of yarn this is? Other than gorgeous, look at those colors together. Isn't that crazy? It is DK Twister. No, Twister DK. Twister DK. It's fantastic. Oh, I love it. I tried it the first time with my last ice yarn order and super worth ordering again. 
So I checked this time and they had more colors, or they had colors. I probably wasn't even looking for colors before. It is so great. It feels, I don't know, it feels fantastic. It feels like microfiber. It feels like so squishy. And the twist on it means it is not gonna split whatsoever. You're just gonna be like totally crocheting with it. Plus, I think you could like triple it up and use it as a chunky yarn, cause it is so good. And it's cheap. I think it's pretty cheap. Okay, so one for you, one for me. Look at that twist and that shine. Isn't that great? So this is Twister DK, 100% acrylic, 100 grams, 300 meters. And they say it is a size three, oops, a size three DK weight yarn. I love it. So I, now I have it in gray, I have it in camel, I have it in white. I have it in turquoise, I have it in lilac, and I have it in green. Oh! <gasps> so now I'm getting to like be able to do something with it. And I think tripling it might be great because then it's 100 grams, 100 meters. Hmm? Wouldn't be bad. So that is Twister DK. Oh, my other one. My other Bella Mohair. Let's see if I can get that over here. There we go. Bella Mohair. That one is so pretty. Now we have eyelashes. See, well, this is good. See, you're going to thank me for this now because I went through all these greens and then I realized I have all these greens. Isn't that great? So like a darker green, like a chartreuse green, and like an apple green. So, and this is all... Um, oh, no, it's not. Oh, it all is! This is all eyelash 100 grams. So eyelash, eyelash 100 grams does not have glitz. So now we have to check it out. Of course. Let's check out the chartreuse one. Ooh. Love it. So this has no glitz. Okay, let me put the other greens up here so at least you can see them a bit. Okay. Look. So that's all the eyelash and none of the glitz. So if you were doing eyelash and you wanted sensible eyelash, this would be your sensible eyelash. Eyelash 100 grams. So it is 100% polyester, 100 grams, 150 meters, a six to seven millimeter knitting needle, so a seven to eight millimeter crochet hook. And they say it is a size five chunky. I think it's really pretty. And that, I think, is my first one that doesn't have any glitz in it, any shine. I guess it's still a bit shiny, but no sparkle. Maybe that's the word for it. Still so soft. I really like it. So that's the sensible version of eyelash dazzle and eyelash glitz. <laughs> so eyelash dazzle, super sparkle. Eyelash glitz, medium sparkle. Eyelash 100 gram, just as polite shine. Now, this is the one. This is the one. Oh. You're just going to love it. Okay, I'm not even going to open that one until... Yes, no, I am. Okay. Because you know what? It's so good. I'm going to be stuck here again. Okay, so this was my splurge. I don't even know how much it was. I forget. It'll be up on the screen. But oh my goodness. If you want a delicious yarn, plus yes, I get to use my Swift. These are Hanks. I love it. So this is called Hand Dyed Cashmere, baby. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. It feels like a baby. You're like, oh. Like it is so good. Like it's so soft, it's so sweet. It's like literally, it's like just perfect. This is perfect. So you can see this one here, and I'll tell you about this one. Hand-dyed cashmere. 
10% cashmere, 90% polyamide. Now remember, polyamide, I'm pretty sure is nylon, which means it's just really, really soft. Anytime you see polyamide on ice yarns, it means soft. This is like baby butter. It is 100 grams, 225 meters. They, rec they suggest a four millimeter needle, but you could use a five millimeter crochet hook. You see those colors? And it is a size three DK weight yarn. Oh my goodness, this would be the prettiest top down sweater or it has to be like on your body. It's so good. If I ever get a winter, this is on my to-do list. I have two packs, so six hanks. I have no idea what to do with it other than just love on it, love on it. So, so worth it. Oh, I gotta get it in the bag all pretty now. So I guess you're lucky that I had to refilm that part because I oogled and ogled over this for like 10 minutes. I'm not even joking. I think that's why I looked at my camera to be like, is my battery dead? Like, because <laughs> I talk that much about it. Yes. It's that good. Okay. Okay, I think I'm nailing the table over there. Now, oh, I gotta get these ones down for a minute. So good, Twister DK. Get the bag out of there. Now here is our last bag. Oh, oh, look, I don't even know what I did. Look what I did. Should we have a little spin? A little pre-spin? You gotta love a vacuum sealed bag of yarn. Awesome. I love it. Okay. <gasps> yes! Favorite. This I've used for most of my flowers for the Bloomscape Cal. It is such a gorgeous flower color. Oh, now my battery says it's gonna die. Well, that's great. I guess I could change it. I'm gonna keep talking, okay. So this is a DK weight yarn favorite. Uh, I use it all the time. They say it's a, a three weight yarn, but I use it like a four weight. It's too, it's too thick to be a three weight and it's too thin to be a real four weight, but yes it is. You can still use it as a four weight. I use up to a six millimeter hook with it. It works perfect with a five milli, five and a half, six. And it has way better colors than Saber. So if you want an acrylic yarn that has a lot of colors, this is the acrylic yarn that has a lot of colors. So I'll put all that information up on the screen. This is one of my go-tos. Let me get these yarns back up here. Boop. Oh, I guess I could put some over there. Could I? Almost. Okay. Those are gonna stay down then. Ooh, magic glitz, isn't it? Magic Glitz Rainbow. This looks thinner. No, it's not thinner. It's not thinner, it's the same yarn. <laughs> okay, let me show you that one. Now Magic Glitz, I love. I always have it in like my standard colorway, but I thought let's branch out, try something new. I thought this might be, this is not as great. Mm-mm. This cannot be magic glitz. Or maybe this has been like sucked, like it's been like dehydrated, unaired for so long. It feels really thin. It feels like it's been wound really tight. It does not feel like my usual magic glitz. No, but it does say it's the same. 100 grams, 360 meters, which is the same. 95% acrylic, 5% Lurex, that feels like it's the same. It doesn't feel, okay, I'm gonna leave these out for a minute. Let's see. 
No, it feels it feels skinnier. It does not feel the same. I'm just telling you. Okay, so this is going to be a debate. I'm going to let these sit out for a minute. I'm going to get my original magic glitz from up there and we're going to compare because that is I'm putting them in a little basket to the side. This needs investigating. That's a something. Oh, good. Oh, good. So I got more baby chenille in colors I don't have. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> or chenille baby. So love it. Great for slippers. Oh, look at me. Great for slippers. I love it. I'll put all the colors down below. Don't worry about it. Now, what on earth is this? Twister DK in a gorgeous yellow color. So Twister DK, I love you. You're way over there. I'm going to get you. We're going to put all the Twister DKs together at the end. <gasps> Is that a Twister DK too? Hold on. I got to get it out. <gasps> it, Twister DK in green. Oh my gosh. I have all the good colors now. I can do anything. Oh, I feel invincible. Okay, Twister DK in all the colors. So definitely Twister DK project coming up. So excited. We don't have that many left. This is a favorite in another one of my flower colors, which I was running out of. This is also favorite. I thought I was running out of it. I have this color. So this was a... I didn't need it. I ordered it. I didn't need it. And the last one, this is also favorite. <laughs> in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade. This is one of the best shades for favorite. It is a lovely purple. It's as close to Kenyan acrylic colors, which I have here, that you could get. So this is the color in favorite. This is the Kenyan acrylic. They're similar, right? So this is a definite must have. Whoop. Oh my gosh, there we go. So now I always get asked about shipping. I do my own shipping with my own freight forwarder. It cost me about $200 to ship all of the yarn. The yarn cost me, was it 217? I did a video with the math already. So I'm just gonna revert to that and put it in here because I already did the math. First, I calculate shipping. So it was 12.2 kgs of yarn. So that is 122, 100 gram balls of yarn. We're just calculating it as an even 100 grams. We're dividing all the costs down to 100 grams or one normal size skein of yarn. So we divide the shipping cost, which is $149.99. We're just going to say $150. So if we divide $150 by 122 balls of yarn, the shipping cost per 100 grams of yarn is $1.23. So whatever price yarn you were buying, you're going to add $1.23 per 100 grams to get it delivered straight to your door. Now to calculate the cost of yarn, the cost per ball of yarn, you are going to take the amount that you spent on yarn so that was $217. You're going to divide it by the same 122 100 gram balls of yarn. And that means that each 100 grams of yarn cost you $1.78. So you add the cost of yarn, $1.78, and the cost of shipping, $1.23. Guess what that is? Pretty much $3 per 100 grams of yarn delivered to your door in spring of 2024. That's how much it cost. And... Now I want to get that magic glitz and see what's up with it. Right? I think we should. Okay, battery still says it's going to die, but I hope it doesn't. Okay, so here is my original magic glitz. Here is the new magic glitz. This one is soft and buttery. This feels, no, not soft and buttery. It feels stringy. Can you see the difference? Right? That does not feel the same. No, you can definitely see it. See how fluffy this one is and how like stringy the new one is. Yeah, that's no good, man. That's sad. 
maybe this would be good for the Centro knitting machine. <laughs> Just make a bunch of hats, be like, it's fine, it's a hat. This is great, this is not great. Great, not great. Exactly the same quote unquote yarn, not, not the same though. Yep, same everything else. Right? Anyway, learn something new every day. Interesting. Put my fluffy yarn back. I'm glad I didn't get more of that. That would have been a bit sad. But everything else, I loved it. So what was your favorite yarn? Let me know. It's sunny, right? Boop, boop, boop. Let me know in the comments what your favorite yarn is. Hmm? Stay hooked.